Hey everyone, welcome back to Sulfur and Chill. I'm Kev. Yeah, excited today. Excited, nervous, anxious. Yeah. I've only just finished Band of Brothers, which is the first installment of um, this first installment from Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks. Um, so yeah, I've I had a little bit of a break. I've only recently watched the documentary for Band of Brothers, and uh, yeah, it's time to go into the second installment. There was a nine-year difference from 2001 to 2010. This is the Pacific. So that's season one, episode one. This one's called Lecky. Um, what do I know about this show? Okay, so obviously Band of Brothers uh, followed the uh, the Airborne the Legends. Um, this one is to do with the Marines. Now, somebody has mentioned that it's a it's a, it's a woven story. I haven't had any spoilers, but it's like from three different people who wrote books uh, that um, I think obviously they've picked up and they've kind of woven the three storylines together uh, from their perspective as Marines in World War II in Japan. Am I close? I think it could be about, I think I'm, I think I'm out there or thereabouts, um, but that's all I know. I don't know any of the stories of the, the guys who were there. I don't know anything about it. All I've been told about this one, um, being honest, what I've been told is that it's not, a, I've been told it's not as, um, it's not, not that people have said that's not as good. Some people have said it's not as good. Some people have said it's along the same, length, like, like, like along the same kind of feels, but most people have said it's a lot more brutal. It's more brutal and, um, yeah, it's not as kind of bad brothery, they said, it's just kind of, it's, it's pretty vi vicious. Yeah, if, if I'm looking for something along the lines of Band of Brothers, it's a little different, I've been told. It's not not to build me hopes up too much. But I'll never build me hopes up with anything. Because you're never like one of those things is that I know people who have hated movies, I've absolutely loved them. And the opposite, I know I've loved stuff and people have gone, That's, that was a load of crap. So I'm going into this with an open mind. Um, I've been told it's brilliant. Don't get me wrong. I've been told it's absolutely fabulous. Uh, so I'm excited. I don't know who's in it. I don't know any of the actors. So... I don't want to wait around any longer. Um, if you're enjoying what you're seeing, uh, if this is your first time at the channel and you enjoy this, I will be putting the full length reaction of it on the Patreon and you'd always hit the like button and subscribe and you can follow me along with this journey as we go. That'd be great. So yeah, first episode, season one, episode one, if I can get this off there. This one. Yeah. Lecky. I'm nervous though, because um, if it's more vicious than Band of Brothers, you know how emotional I get. Straight in with that really powerful music as they as they used to have in. It brings out uh the, the the song, the music, it always seems to, you know, bring out the feels. Hans Zimmer, are you pissing on me chips? Of course it's Hans Zimmer. You can just feel it straight away, the music. Oh my god, my heart'll break a Hans if Hans Zimmer's involved. Just to ease us in, don't, don't go throwing us. I'm just a gentle guy from the north of England. Don't get us by the head, full force. Just ease me in, ease. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> Vera, Bob Lecky. I'm your neighbor from across the street. I know street. who you are, Bob. <laughs> Lecky. I joined the Marines. Oh. Thought I'd do my bit. Take care of yourself. Oh. Uh, uh, wait, Vera, let me get that for you. Oh, <laughs> thank you. See the gentleman. That's that's I like Maybe him already. Right yes, Lecky. Alright. Alright, yeah. I guess when you're going away it's like that, you would need someone to to write to. That's a lot, Lecky. You miss anything? Nah. Movie hasn't started yet. There's John! <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> yes, lads. The uniform that you wear and the globe and anchor emblem that you have earned make the difference between the freedom of the world and its enslavement. The place is called Guam, Wake, the Malay Peninsula. We're also attacked by the Army, Air Force, Japan. and Navy of the Empire of Japan. Japanese 
are in the process of taking half of the world. And wow. they mean to keep it with death from the air, land, and sea. Hitler is not going to be our job, not until they can't whip him without us. <laughs> Marines will do battle with the Japs on tiny specks of turf that we have never heard of. The orders come from the brass, and you get it done. The victory will have been won by you. Yes. You, with the chevrons on your sleeves and the instincts in your guts and the blood on your boots. Those of you who are lucky enough to get home for Christmas, hold your loved ones dearly, ready to sail across God's vast ocean, where we will meet our enemy and kill them all. Holy shit, man. Merry so Christmas. So they're, they're NCOs. Happy 1942. Hey everybody! This is JP and Manny! JP and Manny. Oh, how much respect. JP Morgan, Manny Rodriguez, welcome to our home. Two of my brothers are leaving to serve their country. George, we're losing sleep wondering what Marine Corps boot camp is gonna do to you. <laughs> My brother John, you've been there, rough and ready for years. You're in the Philippines and came back to join the Marines because you wanted to be the best and first in. Whoa. To all of you. Just get the job done and come home to us. Oh wow, the reality is kicking in. Salute. Salute. Yeah, you know I'm yeah, the, it's a somber feel. They're trying to cover it with all of the happiness, but there's a somber there. <laughs> As a parent, it must have been almost impossible to comprehend sending your child off. Well, not even sending them off. They are leaving of their own accord to go, or they're being drafted. Marines will outfit me with everything from bayonets to socks. I just wish I could have brought my typewriter. So why well, you need that? Oh, I thought I might fight by day and write by night, Dad. <laughs> Did his dad not even say bye to him properly? Oh, I hope I don't need a new axle. Oh my god. No way I'll get one. Are you fucking... Is this his way of coping though, I suppose? There's a war on. Your mother said I was a fool not to buy a Ford. That's it, Dad. I gotta go. Ah, oh, I just don't think you wanted to say goodbye. Bye, son. Weird. Yeah, it's a, it was a strange interaction. And then he starts walking straight off. I think it was more of a... He was trying to... He just couldn't... He just didn't want to face it. This is good. Eugene, I'm... I'm sorry. Is he just done well in... Naturally, or is it to join the army and he can't, the Marines and he can't get in? Mama's still there. So he's got a heart issue. Lost it. <laughs> he's got a murmur on his heart. <laughs> Alright, okay. Said so his brother, his brother's joined and he can't. When you leave, I'm on the 6 a.m. train to Atlanta. Oh, uh, all of his friends are gone. Got you something. Barrack Room Ballads by Rudyard Kipling. I wish we were going together. Oh. Yeah, well, you take care of yourself, Greaser. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me. I, I can't even kind of describe what the feeling that would be if you couldn't go and you wanted to, but because, like, obviously, for whatever reason, like, medically, medically not allowed. Oh, Guadalcanal. I've, I've, I've heard of these things, don't you worry. I don't know how long it took them to get from America over to Japan on the board. Oh, there's his mate who's just was talking to Eugene. Lucky. Where's JP and money? Damn, Russ, fucking, I can't hear myself. Think. You plan on doing that, Sergeant York? Line them up, bone down. Real turkey shoot. Wow. I got a feeling it's gonna be a little more complicated than that. No, it's gonna be a turkey shoot. Hey, can someone remind me why we're here again? 
Without a sign, his sword the brave man draws. And that's no omen, but his country's cause. Give me back my smoke. Uh. Like, you gotta stop <laughs> Let's forget all the horse shit you've heard about the Jacks. They've had their turn. Now it's our turn. Heads down in the boats. Hit the beach. Keep moving to your rendezvous point. What? To primary this is quick. When you see the Jacks, kill them all. Yeah. yeah. Can we go back to the training, please? I want to do a Band of Brothers style training. Hands on the vertical, feet on the horizontal. We can tighten it down and go. Let Anders, everybody let's go. We're not, we're, we're not even 20 minutes in and they're already at the beach. I didn't think this would be as fast, but hey, hey, I'm just, I'm going with it. Let's do this shit, son. Holy fuck. So they're at Guadalcanal. Kicked off quicker than I thought it would. Got the mortar crews there. God, they're all carrying all that stuff. Holy shit, man. Machine guns. Machine guns. I was gonna say it's a lords of them or is there no one there? Oh. God almighty, they were all pumped up ready for a fight. <laughs> and they're all just sitting chilling. They're all just sitting chilling? Eating coconuts? Ah no, I got you, you son of a Hey for what it's worth. Corporal Dobson says uh, the Japs might have poisoned the coconuts. Oh, uh, cheers. They poisoned a billion coconuts? Intelligence has it the Japs moved back into the jungle. Clean the sand out of your weapons. We move in three minutes. Sand out? We move in three minutes. You don't want to get your sand in your weapon, like, of course, you don't want it to jam. So he's part of a mortar team. As usual, you try to find the, the main characters who it's going to kind of focus on. We've obviously got JP, Manny, Lecky, Barcelona. You don't want to touch anything because they'll have been boob things will be booby trapped to shit. Don't pick up like helmets or anything like that. Oh man, so they're like trained in like proper jungle warfare. I mean, I know the Marines are as well, but you know what I mean? They're, this is their terrain. They're used to this terrain. They're used to the heat. God, I don't know. It's very intense. It's like, yeah, it's, it's, it's got you kind of, you can't kind of rest your brain for a second because you don't know what's going to happen. How thick that is, man. Wow. Try to get through that. That undergrowth is just crazy. You're not going to be able to get a mortar through there. What's that that Lecky's carrying? This will be the first time a lot of them will have seen a dead body. Oh my god. Oh, he's had his head cut off and there's a dick hanging out of his mouth. Oh my... What the fuck? He's cut his head dick off and put it in his, that other lad's mouth. Oh, Jesus, that's brutal. Keep it moving. Executed. Wow, that was brutal, mind. The first time you see a dead body, it's got its head cut off and someone's dick in its mouth. All right, is that the level? So there we are. That's the level we start. We starting up here. So he's a writer, and I'm guessing. Obviously, I know that they said this. This was stories or books that have been turned in. So I'm guessing one of the books is is Lecky. What 
What's happened? What the fuck? Oh, he's been proper plugged. He went to take a piss. Oh my Somebody opened up. God. Did he say the password? I don't know. You do all of that training and everything to go there. I mean, what did they tell the parent? They're gonna say he died in died in battle, I suppose. He just went for a piss and got wiped out. They're not cutting corners, mind. We haven't even seen an enemy yet. It's kind of building the suspense. We've had a blue on blue. And we've had a dick cut off in the mouth. Guess we took the air fuel. No fires. Two hour watches. Let's assume the Japs are watching right now, preparing to come at us. Assume? They are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's good. Can you imagine being on one of those ships? Looks like the 4th of July. Wow. That's man. Admiral Turner blowing the whole Jap fleet to the bottom of the channel. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh they're laughing. They're going to go down and find out it's one of theirs. Where's the Navy? Gone. We lost four cruisers. We're in for now. Bon voyage. Yeah, well, she went down with half the battalion's ammo, most of our grub and medical supplies. What? And a our ass wife. All of the toilet paper as well. Oh. Start digging it. So, oh the, my god, they've been cut up, almost cut off with no supplies already. Want some? It's Jeff Wine left behind. It's made out of donkey piss, but it's not bad. The Jap Navy is right over the horizon, Phillips. If not now, then when? Oh, Phillips. Good lad. There you go. <laughs> Careful. Stay low, stay low. Just try to spot our positions. Hold your fire. Hold your fire. Head down. Head down, man. Me. I just get in the boat with them. So the big machine guns. Lecky seems to be carrying the f like a front of one, and they kind of assemble them. Jesus Christ! There are thousands of them. Like the whole damn Japanese Empire. What? Coconut plantation used to cove about ten miles up. Holy shit, man. Look at how many are there. One of the things I've noticed already, it's kind of building the anticipation for the for the enemy. That makes sense. Here, watch the opposite bank. I haven't seen any yet. I'm guessing we will, though. All right, that's what I was wanting to see. Okay. So Lucky's a machine gunner. Martha Squad Phillips. A company made contact. See the flash. Come on, boys. They're just gonna open up. He's gonna fire you first. Holy shit! Get the mortars on there. Nice. So you don't know even how many you're fighting. You saw the big battalion before. Yes. Wow, that's so much like work to have to get the machine gun moved. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, he's just totally shit himself. God damn it! He's lost it! Come on! Keep moving, keep moving! Isn't that mental? Oh. 
Holy sh! Hit. Again, move again. Oh no, I'm boiling hot, won't it? <gasps> yeah, because obviously the heat of, of it's shooting, so they need to kind of hit that also. Do you know, like little touches like that make a show so much like more believable. Walk him right, goddammit, walk him right! Go, 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 go! Oh, it seems like they're overpowering them here. Oh my god. How many people are they killing? God, how many Japanese were killed there? Wow. Look at him on the machine. I mean, lucky on the machine guns. But like, what the fuck? Ammo resupplies at the collection point. Ammo. How many did you shoot, Lecky? Look at them all. I mean, we 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 chewed them up. They just kept on coming. A real turkey shoot. All oh, right. Oh Jesus, that's what he said. Aye. Okay. A real turkey shoot. Ah, oh, see you later, son. We got a live one here. Hi. No. <gasps> I understand the situation. I agree to have no mercy. I've got absolutely no problem with having no mercy to my enemy. If that, when that's the case, just take them out, play games with them. You're still a human being at the end of the day, but I suppose when they're cutting your friends' dicks off and putting them in your mouths, I can understand. Mm. Okay. No matter. Yeah. Good job moving around last night, sir. Got you promoted to corporal. Well, we've lost Lou. Yes, ma'am, I am a corporal. Hmm. Kind of humanizing them. He's he's got a, he's he'll go home. He's got a wife, and she'll get the telegram to say he's been killed. Dear Vera, it seems a lifetime since we met outside St. Mary's. It is a Garden of Eden. Learn some things about myself. There are Very things quickly. men can do to one another that are sobering to the soul. It is one thing to reconcile these things of God, but another to square it with yourself. Morning, boys. Eh. Shit, it's Chesty Fuller. Wow. All dressed up for Sunday school. Up with the son of Samoa. Screwing Bas your girlfriend. Oh. 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 I have a girlfriend? Look at me. You guys step aside. The real Marines are here now. Oh, JP and money are there as well. Seen those guys? They look like they've been through the ringer. That's one way of putting it. So is it gonna jump to different squads depending on who's telling the story? Yeah. Well, this one, this one here is from a buddy of mine back in Mobile. <clears throat> Eugene. Dear Sid, I hope this gets to you before your birthday. Your sister and I went sister. down to. Uh oh. 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 I went oh. down to see the wreckage of a ship they sunk. <laughs> Truth is, you're the lucky one, Sid. You'll never have that nagging thought that you let your family, your friends, and your country down. Oh. Because that's what I'm afraid of. So, uh, I'll leave you knowing that like the poem says, you're a better man than I am, Gunga Bin. 
Your humble and obedient servant, Eugene Slickage. Your friend wants to be a Marine. Yeah, but his father won't let him. He's got a heart murmur. How old are you? 18. What the fuck? Happy birthday. He's only 18, Sid. I just Happy turned. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Phyllis. Happy birthday to you. How fucked are you now? How fucked are you now? How fucked are you now? <laughs> Is that it? That the first episode down? You're surely fucked now. You're surely fucked now. Okay. Um, great start to the show. Didn't expect it. I, did, I, I don't know what I expected. I expected kind of like a bit of like, a, not a Band of Brothers. I'm always going to think about Band of Brothers. Um, I expected some training. I expected them to be kind of, I know that they were thrust into the war. But you know, like the way the Band of Brothers did, they went through basic training together and everything like that. I guess they can't if it's three interwoven stories together. They've just got to kind of show the meat of it. Um, I would, I, I, I would, I will definitely watch or read the separate stories depending on who it actually is, um, who have wrote the stories. I'm still unsure. I'm guessing that Lecky is one of them, um, but I'm unsure as to the other ones. Um, it did focus a little bit on Barcelona, JP and Manny uh, being at home. Um, it also focused a lot there on Eugene Sledge, did they say? Eugene Sledge and Sid Phillips. Um, so I'm guessing it's going to be one of them. Uh, 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 so I, I don't want to get, I don't want to think about that too much. It's more about the storyline itself. Um, I thought it was it was amazing. It was an amazing episode to begin the show. The reason being is it's, it was more of like a, it showed them as an invisible, an invisible enemy. You never. I thought when they're on the boat and they were about to get off a Guadalcanal, I was thinking, wow, what the f is going on here? This is quick. And then when the, the, you know when it, when it came down and then. They, they were just on the beach. I was thinking, all right, it couldn't. It wasn't even twenty minutes in. They couldn't be fighting already, um, but obviously they did. They did start the, the battle door more straight away, um, and yeah, I just I kind of found that like it was intense. You were kind of following them along. Um, I've not. I've just got the thing up here, and uh, I was. It just says John Barcelona, John Cedar. I, I don't recognise because I recognised his face. Uh, yeah, and uh, John Berthnall. No, uh, uh, they're really good actors. Um, and it was more like building the tension. Then when they went through the woods and you saw the fact that the enemy had obviously captured a couple of Marines. Slice. Huh. No. Um, so uh, that scene where you saw them fighting, like I said at the time, I thought it was an amazing kind of representation of the battle because even down to the, you know, you've got, I know you had Sid who's on the, the mortars, you had Lecky, who's part of a machine gun squad, um, and even when he stood up to move, that even to the small part of even having to put some like cloth of some sort underneath the barrel because the barrel will be so hot. Little things like that, I pick up on stuff like that because it's a, it's a, it might seem small, but it's such a big way of making it seem so realistic. I'm sure you will agree. Um, for those of you who uh, were like who have had family who were in this. Um, you know, in this campaign, you know, how did you feel about it? How did it make you feel uh, watching this? Um, as well, this to me, because it's so kind of, it was so intense. They were kind of trying to humanize them at the end. I didn't like, um, I mean, uh, at the time I, I was saying I didn't like the fact that they were like playing games with that, with the Japanese guy who, you know, I, I don't know how real to life that was, but they were just shooting left, right, and centre, and I didn't like that. It's you know probably because you've got Hans Zimmer music in the background making you feel kind of pulling on your heartstrings. But if I was there and I'd seen you know the the atrocities that they were doing, especially cutting off body parts and putting it in the mouths of my fellow Marines, I suppose I wouldn't have any mercy neither. Let's be honest. You need to have no mercy. See the way the word drill sergeant, or the you know the Marine was talking to them when they were getting off the. Uh, uh, where they were just about to leave to get out to go to Guadalcanal. It was when you see them, kill them all, kill them, just kill, 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 kill. Marines, just kill, kill. Um, so yeah, when they were there and they've got that chance, they're just they're just doing what they have to do. Um, there wasn't apart from that little bit of battle. It was more like yeah, just building up, building it up, and building it up. This show, I can tell, um, is going to be a lot more violent. Yeah, 
this one's going to be more violent than Band of Brothers. And I, 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 like the first Band of Brothers, I had this kind of brother brotherly feeling about it. This one doesn't seem to have that so far. I'm still obviously worried about the guys and seeing how they're going to be more individual. Um, probably my favourite character so far is probably Eugene. I like Eugene. <laughs> he was so cool. You feel sorry for him. Um, I'm, 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 I'm one of those people that I always root for the underdog. Um, I like Lecky as well, who who had focused on the most. Um, and Sid, Sid's just turned 18, and he's there. Uh, so yeah, there's a few. Um, I haven't really seen much of the other guys yet because I've focused. I've obviously I went to Barcelona's house. Um, and you know you saw the money and JP were there, and but it hasn't focused on them on the beach yet or anything like that. It's been all about. It's been about Lecky and the other guys. Um, so I'm sure whenever the storyline, it'll probably jump between groups. Um, so I'm because I'm guessing the if they've wrote the book separately, it's their separate accounts, so they're not going to have been in the same company. A bit like Band of Brothers, where they're all in the same company. Uh, yeah. So I'm, I, I don't know how this one's gonna go, but I, I mean I, I can't fault that first one production, the music obviously. Um, Everything about that was was top notch, like, yeah, like to the highest like quality. Yeah, I thought it was really really good, um, and I just can't wait to see the second episode. Uh, if you enjoyed this at all, um, just want to say uh, I will leave a playlist for the Band of Brothers one because I can't leave a playlist for this one because it's the first one. Uh, so, so if you want to go back and check that out, you can. I'll put a subscribe button up there, and if you have watched this with me today, spend any time. I just want to say thank you so much from the bottom of my heart, and yes, I'll see you all very very soon for episode two.